Hey everyone, so just want to give you a heads up on what we got done yesterday. Uh, my camera stopped filming it, the battery died at some point. So I have no clue, I haven't had a chance to view the video from yesterday, so I have no clue where it stopped filming at. But anyhow, we did get, this is a slide out that is broken. And um, because this trailer is not going to be um, moving down the road, it's permanently installed here for now. <laughs> um, we just built this frame, um, probably overkill on the bracing here, but because uh, those are 4x4 four four posts, it's got six 4x4 four four posts in it. Pressure treated wood on the bottom uh, where it touches the cement, bricks. And, um, but anyhow, it's going to nicely, um, hold up that slide out because the wood underneath the slide out and all along here is, um, damaged. So, um, it's got some wood rot and I have no way of taking out the slide out to repair that. So we just decided to brace it up in place and, um, going to go around and silicone the heck out of everything. It rained last night, so it'll give me a chance to see if where it's leaking, if it is leaking anywhere. And um, and hopefully <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'll find out here in a minute with you because I'll take you inside. But anyhow, so for now, the slide out bracing is done and I can get busy um, weatherproofing this. I'm going to put a skirt around the entire outside of the trailer to help keep it warm in the winter. Uh, we're going to be building a deck that will go along this side here. And it will extend out into this area here. Um, that's going to be in the coming weeks. Uh, my main concern for now is getting moved into the trailer. So my goal is to have everything done, all of it painted, the flooring done, and hopefully I can move in by this weekend. But we'll see if there's any, um, oh, I still have to, the, the floor's squeaking because I haven't nailed down all the boards or screwed down all the boards for the subfloor yet. But we did get this um, wheel well box done. I'm also going to box in the wheel well that's down there um, after I check the plumbing for leaks. Oh, Mighty Mo wants to come in and check out the new home. So does Dilly. Come on, Dilly Dog. Anyhow, it's kind of a construction zone here for now, but my goal is today to get the painting done in the bedroom. Um, I need one more coat on the white walls. And I need to um, cut in around the ceiling. So I'll get that done today. And then I will start primering. All the rest of this is going to be primered and painted. There will be no wood look anywhere. Um, I still need to take off the um, this wallpaper stuff. But I have some goop off to get that off. And then once I primer it, um, today or tomorrow, we're going to check the plumbing and see if there's any leaks in the plumbing before I start uh, messing with the floor and crossing our fingers that there's no issues with the plumbing because we found out that there are issues with the plumbing in my sister's trailer. It leaks horribly um, from the water pump hot water heater. And so um, it's either the pump or the hot water heater that's leaking horribly. It flooded the whole uh, bottom of her trailer so um, and since her trailer is just a temporary housing until her house is finished we decided to not repair that so apparently everybody's going to be showering and using water in my trailer until her um, house gets done she just doesn't want to put the money into a trailer that's only going to be she's only going to be living in for a few months hopefully so anyhow for today, I will hopefully get some painting done. I still have all those cabinet doors to paint. I do not like to paint, but I need to get those um, painted so I can get them out of the bathtub so that I can uh, try the plumbing and see if anything's going to leak. And slowly getting there, but hopefully 
we'll be able to move in by this weekend. What do you think, Dilly? Huh? What do you think? You want to move into your new home? What's your Mighty Mo Kitty doing? Is he checking everything out? He's looking for spiders, huh? Oh, you're going to jump up and say hello to everyone? Say hello. Where's your kitty? Get your kitty. <laughs> Anyhow, and I have been horrible about uploading um, videos because we've realized that um, using our... Uh, Verizon only offers 20 gigabyte of hotspot <laughs> and trying to do everything on my phone is incredibly horrible. So we need to figure out some other way to um, upload videos. I do have them all uploaded. I just need to um, go through and check them all and then um, make them public. So hopefully I'll get some of that done tonight after I do my painting. I will talk to you soon. Okay, so progress for today. Not much. I did clean the window and the window screen is out there drying because... We had to take that out the other day to run power through the um, to the outside so we could build the uh, support for the slide out. So I figured as, well, as long as it's open, I might as well clean it. Anyhow, I did get a second coat of paint, white paint on the walls. I got my mirrors hung. That was not fun. When I do the rest of the cabinet doors, I think I'm going to have an extra set of hands because holding those mirrors up and trying to get the screw in the uh, hinge was not a fun deal. The um, hinges I'm using are the old ones I'm trying to move without getting wet paint on me but they're these gold ones and I have decided I didn't like those so I bought some of these uh, where'd they go? bought some of these um, hinges from West Coast RV Recyclers and thought I would just change everything over to black. I don't like the gold look, but the little hinge holes didn't line up with the ones that were already drilled in the hole, I mean in the uh, door. So that's a no-go. So for now I'm just putting the gold ones back up so I can get the doors out of my way. And then eventually I'll either just paint those ones black or uh, go buy some black ones. I just, the hardware for the windows is like uber expensive. So, um, and also note that I didn't take the time to tape off the the mirrors around the edges so that um, when I painted it just went all over the mirrors and I just figured I'd scrape it off after. That took me about an hour and a half to scrape both of these windows or both of these mirrors and all the excess paint. So. Um, Probably would have been better to just tape it off and uh, just pull the tape off. tape off. I would have had a lot less um, scraping to do. So, so I'll remember that when I paint this door back in here, which is, it's still going to be gray. It's just going to be a different shade of gray because that door I bought from West Coast RV Recyclers to replace the closet door that was missing. So, still find something else for down there. Maybe just a curtain across, who knows. But, um, I, that might become where the kitty litter box goes. Haven't decided yet. But, anyhow, so that's what I got done so far today. And, um, hopefully, as soon as that dries and, the, and I get the second coat of cutting end done, I'll let that dry and then this room will be done. Uh, for now and I could start piling stuff into this room so that I could paint the rest of the travel trailer. So Still hoping and praying that I can move in by this weekend. Uh, keep you updated Okay, so I'm just getting everything in here cleaned out so that I can Primer everything so the next time you see see this area Everything will be primer white just trying to get all my junk out of here so that I can primer it all today. But that's the living room, the kitchen, the hallway, and the bathroom will hopefully at least have primer on today. It depends on how hot it gets. This is the part I got last night. So this is um, a bathroom vanity area. 
And I got that primered last night and the closet. And then after I get all this on the walls, I still have all those cabinets to paint, to primer and paint. Um, two of them will be the blue color that you see in the bedroom. The rest of them will be a light gray, pale gray color. But anyhow, I have to head to town to go get some peel and stick tiles for the back bedroom wall. That's going to have like a wood look peel and tick stick tile on it like floor flooring look but I uh, it just around the window and behind the two end tables but I have to go find something that I like and I haven't had any success yet and then I also have to get the backsplash for the kitchen area and I'm very picky about that so um but the backsplash will go up to the top of where that border is and all around here and behind the stove, which you can't see right now because I got all my GoPro stuff there. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I have a long, long, long list of errands to run today and um, crap to buy at the store. And I'm going to put a coat of primer on all this first so that um, it could be drying while I'm off running errands. I will check in with you guys later. Okay, so just a quick update. So I'm getting ready to paint in here in the living room and the kitchen area. And there was this lovely uh, border that was all around the room. That's what the border looked like. I started to peel it off, but unfortunately it leaves this, like, plastic, like, stuff behind that you have to strip off. So, two and a half hours later, I have most of it stripped off of this wall. There's still some areas that I need to go back over because there's still some goop on it. And then this wall is almost done. This is the one I'm working on now. And I still have all of the kitchen area to do, but since that's going to be a backsplash there, that's like a peel and stick stuff, I'm thinking I will just make sure that the backsplash goes up over <laughs> where that stuff is because it's taken forever to um, scrape it all off. Oh, there's my storage for my extra pipe. <laughs> Um, but what I'm doing is spraying it with this Goo Gone stuff that doesn't work very well. I mean, you know, like, it probably does work, but I wanted something I could just spray on and scrape off. And then you stand here and do this. And it takes forever. So anyhow, that's why the painting is taking so long, is I have to scrape off all this stuff. Um... I did get the bathroom um, primed, so all this is primed, and all of this side is primed. The cabinets in here are going to be uh, pale gray, and the walls are going to be white, so that'll be white. This will be a pale gray, and I did get the cabinet um, above the desk primed. And then I had to stop to start uh, getting the wall prepped. So anyhow, um, hopefully tonight or tomorrow sometime <laughs> I will get all this primed. And I don't think that I'll be moving in this weekend because I still have to put the flooring down. And putting the flooring down means there's still some boards like this one that are is still loose. We need to screw it down. And then I have to do fix all on the floor. Um, or, you know, the, the stuff to level it all, floor leveler. Say hi, Dilly. Dilly, say hi. Did you stake out your claim on the couch? Is that your spot? Anyhow, so, um, I still have to level out the floor, and then I still have to go buy a, um, underlayment, a uh, flooring underlayment thing to put down, a roll of stuff to put down underneath the 
um, snap together vinyl flooring that I might be doing. Uh, it's a floating vinyl floor that's really thin. This is the flooring that's going to go in there. It's the Shaw. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a gray wood stuff. So, anyhow, so slowly getting there. Okay, so here's an update. We have the bedroom was previously planned previously painted so we have the light greenish blue and white and then I have been busy painting the rest Let's see so we have white and gray cabinets throughout the rest of the home Say hi, Daily Dog. Say hi. So, and then I had ordered a backsplash, and I ordered online. And these are really nice um, peel and stick ones. The name is 3D Artisan, but um, so there's kind of like a bubble or a ridge on them. Um, which is better than some of them that I saw. It's just really wallpaper. Um, and they are really lightweight. They come 10 to a pack. They were like $35, and I ordered them on Amazon. But in my computer, they looked more gray. And then I got them, and they're obviously more brown. So I was going to send them back, but now I'm looking, and because the countertops are like this tan color, I'm thinking I'm going to keep them because it just kind of adds a splash of color um, in this kind of too sterile looking uh, light gray and white background. I um, haven't decided what I'm going to do with the fridge panels yet. Um, I might just paint them white or um, tan or I haven't decided yet. I was thinking chalkboard paint, but everyone said it doesn't turn out really Good, so um, may just paint it white so it matches the other uh, stove and microwave but anyhow that's where I got today oh and then I left the um, I don't even know if you can see that but it's like a tan colored uh, padded board over the doorway I guess in case you bump your head so um, that tan would still tie into um, the backsplash if I keep that backsplash but anyhow that's where we're coming to now um, haven't decided if I'm going to order more of that backsplash for the bathroom wall I want something in here but there will be a big um, well not really big but there will be a um, medicine cabinet hanging on the wall um, above the sink so I don't even know if I'm going to do a backsplash in there yet. And I still need to find something for this back wall. My idea was um, peel and stick, um, reclaimed looking, uh, reclaimed wood looking panels, like floor, floor planks that I could put all along that back wall. Because um, it's only a really small, I think it's like eight square feet that I need of the peel and stick. But I haven't found anything that I really like yet, so um, just kind of holding off on that. And then I still want to do, the, whatever I do on that back wall, I want to also do on my little toilet here. It's covered right now uh, from painting, but I want to do something on the two sides of that toilet and the top of that toilet to kind of match whatever I do on that back wall. But uh, I haven't found anything yet, so... That'll be a, a later project, I'm sure. Still need to do something about up here. I'm thinking just a strip of this molding um, that I could put along here where the door was ripped out or the wall was ripped out because I'm going to have the same issue over here um, once I take that 
stick out on the top. I know it's not a stick, but that's what I call them. Anyhow, once I take that out on the top, I'm going to have the same issue. Um, the staples are stapled in from the top. And so when you pull the staples out, it just leaves these horrible little marks on the ceiling. But I'm thinking just getting a, a strip of um, this molding and go the whole length here and the whole length here and something over there. Anyhow, so that's the idea so far. It's coming along, hoping to move in sometime this week, but I still have to check the water um, for leaks. We haven't done that yet. And then um, put the flooring in, of course, which means a lot of um, cleaning up of the floor and then leveling it and then putting underlayment and then putting the uh, vinyl planks down. I have this snap together uh, Shaw flooring that's going to um, be a floating floor. And then a um, oh, little Mighty Mo wants to come in and check it out. And then something's wrong with my fridge. It's not getting cold suddenly. Uh, it was working. We moved it over here and plugged it in and now it's just warm in there. Um, it's running on electricity now. I've tried changing the um, the fuse. That did nothing. And um, so now we're going to try running it on propane and see if I can get it to work that way. Uh, if not, I might be replacing it. So anyhow, getting there slowly but surely. Still have a lot of cabinets and doors to paint. So um, hopefully we'll get those done. <laughs> sometime this winter <laughs> I have to wait for the paint on the cabinets to cure um, because I don't want all the indentations where um, it gets to close on them so um, I did that in the bedroom and I if you look in the bedroom there's on the two that I already hung up they're like cracked open so that they don't seal shut on me but um, I'd rather wait until they're fully cured before I put the doors back up. Anyhow, so that's where we're at so far and just getting the floor done and the water going in here and hopefully can move in soon. Say hi, my Mo. You, what do you think, Mighty Mo? Mighty Mo.